Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and today it is what's sold on eBay for the week of J April, I don't know why I said January, April 25th through May 1st. Um, so sales have been up uh, finally after like a month of just uh, not great sales. I mean, not terrible, but not great. I know a lot of people have been struggling with sales lately. Uh, my sales have not been great either. Uh, but this week I decided to list a lot more and it paid off. Uh, before I get into my sales, let me show you this monkey. I just fixed him with the, the fusion, the fabric fusion, the Eileen's fabric fusion. If you need some, I have it listed down below. But you can see um, all this right here was all torn and I just glued it and clipped it. There, I've got the clips right here. Uh, I missed a tiny hole right here. I can just uh, close that up. But yeah, you can see it really did a nice job on this little monkey. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Well, back to the sales. Um, so I listed a lot more this week, uh, and I list a lot of a lot more quality items. Um, the last month I've been listing like uh, a lot of plush, but plush that it was like fifteen twenty dollars that I haven't been wanting to deal with. I mean, it'll sell, but it's not gonna boost my sales. So um, anybody that wants to boost their sales now, I know sales of uh, people have been talking about sales of being. Uh, crushed right now uh, The way to, to boost your sales is for one list more, but you have to list things that people want um, For example, I stopped listing my $20 plush for a little while um, I started listing my big oversized like this guy um, I have the draft up for him. So uh, People that that have money or this guy <laughs> this guy um, yeah, so people that have money are always looking. Uh, people that don't have money will stop buying completely. So I've gone, I've taken away, well, not taken away, but I slowed down the listing of the little stuff. I went to the bigger items, so hopefully I can sell like one or two bigger items to boost sales. And this week has paid off. Um, another thing uh, I did is I offered to watchers uh, three times this week. I usually only... Um, do that once, uh, like on Friday or, or Saturday. Uh, this time I did it on uh, Thursday, I did it on Saturday, and I did it on Monday. So I did a lot more offers to watchers. Um, I only took 5% off. I mean, um, I just, what I want to do is I want to get the item back into the person's vision. Um, so someone that watched it, um, even if you like change the price a penny or whatever, it will get back into their vision because EBA will send them a notification. Hey, the price dropped on this or someone sent an offer on this to you. So um, I sent uh, the, the offers to watchers. Uh, it was only 5%, but um, it really has helped, I believe. All right, now I will show you what I sold. Let's go over here. All right, uh, report for April 25th through May 1st. My total sales are $3,028.78, which is 59% up from uh, last week. So last week I did around $2,000. This time I did three. Um, so my listing of different items, like for example, I listed, I found a bunch of Doctor Strange toys. Knowing the movie's going to come out, I listed those super high and they sold within a day. So um, different things like that will help your sales. If you have a certain item that's um, going to be high in demand, get it listed. It'll sell fast. Uh, selling costs, $735.33. Of course, that doesn't count um, the uh, pirate ship uh, shipping. If I, if I paid any shipping through pirate ship, which I'm sure I paid probably about $100 this week. Uh, net sales of $2,148.90. Quantity sold. This is which um, this is what boosted my sales a lot. I sold 96 items this week, so that really helped. Like I said, I was listing a lot more. I listed about 200. I'm close to 4,000 listings again. So um, hopefully by the next couple of weeks, I will be at 4,000. Um, maybe not. Maybe I'll sell a lot more, and I'll be happy not to get the 4,000. Uh, average sale price per item is $31.55. All right, I will show you the toys and collectibles, and of course we will hit the plush at the end, and I have a few nice plush sales uh, to show you. 
Uh, the first one, this is a Marvel Kingpin Spider-Man grab and smash. Uh, this I got off my toy guy. I figured out I only paid like uh, about around $2 per uh, toy, something like that. Um, it's hard to figure out because, like I said, I just get box of, boxes and boxes of items and... Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he sends me a price and I say okay or not okay. Uh, this has an exclusive Marvel t-shirt offer inside. I doubt that's still available. <laughs> Anyways, this guy sold for $35.69. Next one, this is a Kenner Star Wars Collector uh, Series Boba Fett. Um, this one I've actually sold twice. You can see, let me show you right here. Uh, you can see right there the damage right there. Uh, person bought it for I think it was fifty yeah fifty five dollars because I raised it five dollars. Uh, got it in the mail. The post office destroyed the bottom. He just returned it. Um, said said the post office destroyed it. <laughs> Please give me my money back. So I refunded the money. I raised the price five more dollars. So I raised it to sixty and it resold. Uh, within a week of me getting it back even with this crush damage right here. So I guess I should have listed it higher in the beginning uh, But anyways, uh, it sold real fast again for 59.49 even with the damage uh, Marvel Marvel Comics Bowen designs keep your eye out for these Bowen designs I'm finding a lot of these are worth very good money. Um, I wasn't uh, familiar with Bowen designs before I met my tour guy but yeah, these are worth a uh, pretty penny. They have a limited edition on most of them. You can see there's a little bit of damage there. I'm trying to show you where is the... I didn't show the bottom, huh? Well, the bottom always has a limited <laughs> of what it is. Now, uh, this one was 137 out of 6,500. Uh, 6, so, uh, I guess I forgot to take the picture of the bottom. But anyways, uh, this one sold for 42.49. But like I said, keep your eye out for Bowen Designs. They are selling very, very well. Cars, talking about cars a lot. Uh, Scion, the, the Scion cars have been selling out for me super fast. So if you find any of these Scion trucks or vans, uh, make sure you comp them and list them up. This one sold for $21.24. Uh, this Batman, uh, Bat Cycle, uh, this one sold super fast within two days of me listing it. This is the second one I had, so all I had to do is uh, relist it. Uh, this one sold for $33.14. 40, um, actually, the first one I sold for, I think it was like $29. I raised the price a little bit because it sold so fast, and this one sold uh, just as fast. So maybe I didn't go high enough. <laughs> uh, one more. This is a Toyota Scion. Uh, these buried treasures, if you find them, Every time I get one of these, I don't know what's inside them. I have no clue. Uh, but every time I've gotten one of these and listed it, it is sold super fast. So keep your eye out for these Matchbox Buried Treasures. Um, comp them. Like I said, they sell super fast for me. Uh, this one sold for $23.79. Not bad for a car that I'm sure sold for only a few, uh, a few dollars at the most at the stores. All right, the next one, um, I rarely show video games, but this one I wanted to show because this is why I do free shipping. A lot of people ask me why I do free shipping because I make more money doing free shipping. Um, this person, well, let me start off by saying every game I have uh, 4 to $5 built in, depending on the game, if it was thicker or not. Uh, this game I have uh, $4 built in. This person bought uh, 10 games, so that is $40 in shipping. Didn't ask for any discount or anything like that. So I have $40 in free shipping. It cost me $7.99, whatever the flat rate envelope was. I believe it's $7.99. I just bubble wrap inside. So it cost me $7.99 in uh, flat rate shipping. And I keep $40 in shipping. If I did have shipping, of course the person is going to ask, um, can I get a shipping discount? So you lose money. So I make money by doing the free shipping, if you can follow what I'm saying. Anyways, that's why I do free shipping. Every time I have a multi-quantity, um, uh, I make a lot more money on free shipping. Plus, eBay pushes your listing up um, just for having free shipping on your listing. Next one, this is a Star Wars Trilogy comic book adaptations. I 
not a comic fan, but I know Star Wars. Well, not really. <laughs> I'm learning Star Wars because I'm getting a lot from my toy guy. Uh, but yeah, this has three different uh, comics in it. Um, that plastic was a little bit off, so I wanted to show it there. But there, there you can see there's three different comics there. So keep your eye out for comics. And it sold for $29.74. Not bad for a little comic book. Uh, the Simpsons Itchy and Scratchy World of Simpsons, I guess it is. World of Springfield. World, <laughs> World of Simpsons. Um, yeah, these are, of course, the popular characters from, Itchy, uh, from uh, The Simpsons. Uh, there's the mouse and the cat. Uh, this one sold for $39.09. Uh, Halloween Ghosts. I got this when uh, Halloween was over. Uh, it was about a month, a month and a half after Halloween. Uh, they were selling for super cheap. They were like $7. Then they give you like a, I think it was 30% off. Then it was like $10. Uh, off of a $50 purchase. Oh, it's Kohl's, of course. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about. So these guys came out to about $354 at the most. And this one sold for $27.19. Two sold so far. Uh, Toy Biz. Uh, this is Mr. Fantastic. He has weird old arms. I don't know why they made his hair so gray. <laughs> uh, this is Old Man Mr. Fantastic. Um, if you don't know, uh, Mr. Fantastic is rumored to be in uh, one of the upcoming movies. So um, some people are already starting to collect him because they are thinking that um, he might go up in value a lot. So uh, if you're interested, get some Funko Pops, get some uh, toys. Because they are, a lot of people are speculating Mr. Fantastic is going up in price. Anyways, uh, he sold for $33.14. Um, Marvel Galactic Build-A-Figure. This You build this guy with seven different figures. Uh, this is War Machine, you can see. Um, War Machine, you know, Iron Man, all that is super popular right now. Um, this guy sold for $59.99. And sold immediately before I even went on sale. Uh, my sales usually take about an hour to get um, up and running because that's how long it takes EB. So, but as soon as I listed this guy, he sold right away. So maybe I listed him too low, but I don't care. He's gone. <laughs> uh, Tycho Junkman Incredible Crash Dummies. If you remember these like commercials, I don't know. Did they ever make a cartoon out of these guys? It seems like it is, huh? Um, 22 minute commute computer animation video whatever um, this one sold again super fast uh, the cardboard was all completely damaged let me show you yeah it was really badly damaged so keep an eye out for these guys when you go out um, thrifting because it looks like these can be worth a good bit of money uh, this one even damaged sold for $33.99 uh, Borderlands 3, fig pins. Um, talked about my pins in the past. I love pins. Pins are so sh uh, cheap to ship. This one is only uh, 8 ounces with 4 pins. Put them in a box. Shipped at the box um, super fast. Uh, and it sold for $31.44. Uh, Toy Biz Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man actually sold for $49 to a person I believe is in Japan. Uh, cost me $10.99 to ship out there. So I made about $34. Uh, not counting, of course, the eBay fees and everything. And it's just Spider-Man with an extra, like, Venom. Or, yeah, Venom pin right here. <laughs> Alright, uh, the next one. This is a 1995 Batman Forever figure. Uh, this one sold out of the country. I don't remember what country bought it. Uh, sold for $51. Again, it cost me $10.99 to ship out of the country. Uh, so I made around $40 in profit, not counting eBay fees, of course. <laughs> uh, but it's just a deluxe Batman with a tack wing. So, um, all these Batmans and, and superheroes, just keep an eye out for them. A Clayface, uh, one of the villains from Batman. This one sold for $44.19. You can see he's just a funny little Clayface little monster. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
uh, Buzz Lightyear Bank. Um, this one actually sold through GSP. It's a little bit bigger, so I don't usually deal with uh, uh, shipping directly with Pirate Ship. Uh, just because it's bigger, I don't like to deal with it. Uh, this one, I believe, is going to Japan it, through GSP. I don't know how much they paid. I'm guessing probably around $80, $90 uh, just to get it shipped. Uh, but what I did is to protect it, since it's going so far, is I actually shoved bubbles in the hole right here. I filled this whole container up with bubbles behind it, in front of it, uh, because he was just wobbling like this. And to go uh, across the planet um, would be crazy to leave it like that wobbly like that so i shoved in bubbles hopefully the the person that buys it uh, appreciates what i did if not oh well at least uh, the item will be safe and like i said i believe he paid around 80 dollars. i got 48 44 which super happy with that all right uh another uh example of why i like free shipping this person bought this guy he bought five of these uh, action figures right here. They are all Batman action figures. Again, uh, for action figures, I take $5 in shipping for each one. I, whoops, not Buzz. <laughs> I bill that into uh, the cost of the, uh, the toy. I was gonna say animal, I'm used to plush. Um, so I got uh, $25 in shipping, cost me $12 to ship it. So I made an extra $13 in shipping just because I have free shipping on there. Like I said, I always make more money on free shipping than I do with uh, non-free shipping. But yeah, he bought all those five uh, uh, toys right there. I'm not gonna go through every one because hey, you'll be bored. <laughs> uh, Street Jet Batman uh, just listed. This guy has a Bruce Wayne right here. Big old figure like this. I have three of them. Unfortunately, they, they all have a little bit of damage. So I show the, the one with the worst damage right here. Um, has like a dent, right? You can see right there. It has like a line and a dent going across. But I always show the worst one when I'm listing a multi-quantity uh, product. Uh, this one sold for one last one before we get to the plush. This is a 1996 Creepy Crawler Monster Maker Skeleton. Creepy Crawlers uh, were hot toy in, I believe, the 80s, 80s slash 90s. Um, I forget what to do. I think you make them, if I remember correctly. You, like, make them in different... You, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, this guy sold for 10 cents at the store at the end of his life. Um, but right now he sold in my store for $42.49. Oops, I do have one more. This is a Disney swim towel. I got this off of uh, Kohl's again for almost nothing. A uh, person bought three of them. So again, shipping again, I make more money on shipping. I have $5 built in the towel, so 15, it cost me uh, $8 to ship because I got it in the padded flat, right? Don't ask me how, I squished it in there. <laughs> uh, so I made $7 on shipping. All right, now we're into plush. <laughs> Yay, finally, right? Uh, this is a Garfield in blue pajamas. I've talked about Garfield in the past. Garfield for me every time I list him he sells um, trying to find I know I have another bag of Garfield lying around somewhere I'm trying to find it and get it listed because every time I find a Garfield he sells <laughs> uh, this one has uh, the tag had actually a rip in its back um, let's see I can show it to you now um, but yeah I had a little rip in his back so I just did the I of course the Eileen's glue again and just did a tiny little glue you can't notice it so I didn't really take a picture of it it's not worth taking a picture anyways uh, he sold for fifteen dollars and twenty nine cents uh, this is a five nights at Freddy I've talked about five nights at Freddy so many times this is one of the white uh, large bunny rabbit type Five Nights at Freddy. <laughs> uh, it's a GameStop exclusive. I got them for, I believe, like 20 bucks each. Um, they are selling for $84.99. Uh, Kelly Toy Hot Pink Bunny. You can see bunny rabbits are still selling after Easter. 
Uh, this one has that little like checkered pattern on it. And then it has striped ears, really nice colors on this bunny rabbit. Um, just got them listed and he sold for $19.54. Uh, Good Night Moon. I got these off of Target. Um, it was a super sale off Target. Got a bunch of these. There's Good Night Moon and some other character. I purchased them both, uh, but this is the Blue Bunny. This one sold for $19.54. I only have one left. Uh, another Five Nights at Freddy. I've showed you this one so many times. Uh, this one keeps selling. This is my last one, so you don't have to hear me hear about it anymore, right? <laughs> uh, this one sold for $84.99. Yeah, that's one of the guys that I found um, just lying around in uh, GameStop. They had them. I don't know how they, they still had them, but I found another one in GameStop. It's crazy. Uh, Squishmallow. This is Bufindo, Bufinda. The rainbow skeleton, uh, I don't know. It looks kind of looks like a narwhal. I don't know. <laughs> it, it looks weird to me. Uh, she is about uh, about 16 inches tall. Uh, two sold of these guys, and they're selling for 37.39. I've talked about squishmallows. Uh, squishmallows were very hot and very wanted for a long time now people still want them but they're kind of getting flooded so be careful when you go in and invest in squishmallows right now um, i'm not investing as much as i used to i still have a closet full of them but they are mostly like walgreens and uh, more exclusive ones those are the ones i am still investing in but uh, just regular ones i am slowed down because so many places have them uh, they're in stock at Target. They're in stock at Walmart. They're in stock at Five Below. So uh, keep an eye out. Don't go Squishmallow crazy because you're not going to get the $70, $80 um, like you would for an exclusive one right now. Uh, Pick Me Pop. Uh, the Pick Me Pop is going to uh, somewhere out of the country. Um, the person actually paid $40 for this Pick Me Pop. Uh, again, this only cost me... Uh, $10.99 with pirate ship so I made around what $29 for this pick me pop uh, the pick me, pick me pop has ugh, I keep saying pick me pop <laughs> has a little bit of like shreds of different like I don't know it's metallic or it's yeah okay he's just a funny looking dog all right <laughs> put it that way uh, let's go to the next one uh, this is a large unicorn with the alarm clock um, his alarm clock's on his butt, so you have to actually stare at the unicorn's butt all night. I don't know. It's a weird place to put an alarm clock. I would maybe put it on his belly, but whatever. <laughs> uh, this is uh, called an ugly snuggly. Uh, you can see right here. Here's the uh, butt alarm clock. <laughs> it's right there. It was actually working. I didn't want to take out the batteries because I didn't want to dig into his butt, really. And it's, There's no use. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is the second one I've sold to him, uh, so I actually had to just uh, relist the old one. I sold the old one, and then I found this one right after, so I just relisted it. And it's sold pretty fast within like a uh, few months of the of me relisting it. Anyways, uh, he sold for $33.99. Uh, Taggies, this is a big taggy blanket if you don't know Taggies. Um, it's a well-known child's like blanket or toy. It's kind of like a lovey. Uh, the only thing bad about this one, it has Faith embroidered in the middle of it. So you need a child named Faith or you have to have Faith. So finally sold. Um, it took a while to sell this. That's why the price is so low. Um, I think I started listing it at $30. And I'm like, nobody's going to buy a Faith <laughs> blanket. I better list, uh, put it down a little bit. But hey, someone bought it. I'm, I'm super happy someone finally bought it. And they paid $16.99 for it. So you have to have Faith, right? <laughs> uh, Demaco. Uh, someone actually paid. Uh, I have $8 priority shipping on all my items. So if someone wants to buy up on shipping, someone actually paid the $8. So they paid uh twenty seven dollars uh for this little cat to be shipped uh they were they actually sent me a message that said thank you very much um 
this looks like the my cat that just passed away. I'm glad to have it back. And I'm, uh, my child is was super sad when he passed. Uh, so I'm I'm happy to have like a representation or I don't remember what he said. <laughs> something like that. Uh, something in that line. All right. Leave me alone. I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. Take care. Bye.